Hi everybody, Karen Roby and Matt Miller here for ZDNet and finally we're able to do a review of the Galaxy uh, foldable phone and finally getting these back in people's hands, uh, Matt, after they've had to re-release the product. So uh, the big question is, what do you think? What are your thoughts on it? I love it. I mean, uh, I know there was a lot of problems last time with some failures after a couple of days. And, and to be honest, when I saw those failing after a couple of days, I said, there's, I, I was originally on the pre-order list. When I saw those failures, I said, there's no way in the world Samsung can re-engineer this, fix this thing. And there's no way in the world I'm going to spend 2000 to get it. And not only did you spend 2000 to get it, but you had to tell us where you had to go to get it, how much, how many miles you put on your car to go get it. Yeah, there's very few available. And I don't know what the, you know, how many they're releasing, but I did a search at the local area, nothing within 200 miles. So then I broadened it to the entire state of Washington. I found one place. So I had to drive four hours each way to pick one up. Um, and it was only the AT&T un- AT&T version. So I actually bought that and then I had it unlocked after the fact. So now I have an unlocked uh, Galaxy Fold. So that is that is dedication to get your hands uh, on the product, Matt. Okay. So, um, you know, before you actually kind of show it to us and tell us about it, what were the changes that were made, um, you know, to, to get this to where, you know, they, they weren't breaking? I mean, if we all remember what was happening uh, when they first tried to get them in, into several uh, journalists, you know, had them and then that was happening. Yeah, so uh, one of the major things was, you know, this is a plastic OLED uh, multi-layer polymer screen or whatever. So around the edges, the original ones looked like there was a screen protector on there. There, The the edge of the plastic was a bit away from the bezel. So some people peeled it off and that caused complete failure of the display. Samsung this time added a uh, glossy plastic band around the display. So there's nothing you can see uh, to peel anything off. It's completely, the screen goes completely into the edges of the phone. Um, another one was on, uh, on the ends of the hinge, there were objects, dust and things getting under that spot in the middle of the hinge. So they've sealed up each of that. They put little caps, uh, that were designed into each end. And then I think there was a third thing, but I can't remember, but those were the two major, uh, functional, uh, design features that they improved. Okay, so if you can hold it up just a little bit to kind of show us, you know, and, and open it up and kind of give us the lay of the land. Display here. Um, it's a 4.6 inch, fully usable uh, Android phone. I mean, if you swipe up, you know, you can see the apps and everything. It's, it's, it could be used, no problem. The only issue is the keyboard's a bit small. It's a bit tight because it's so long, even though it's 4.6 inches. And, you know, in the beginning I said, well, I'll use that outside display, you know, five percent of the time or something but i'm actually ended up using it probably 25 percent or more just because it's convenient a lot of times you know um when you just kind of want to send a quick message or make a phone call or something but you know the real magic is when you do this right and it's held pretty tightly with magnets but then ah open it up and very cool in here so okay it's uh it's it, it, it you can't let me see if i can see it in the light you can probably see the the hinge part in there. Right. It's obvious that it's there, but when you're using it, you can't tell. I mean, it, it swiped back and forth across it without any issues. Every app works. I mean, even if there's an app on the center, it's completely usable. Um, and then I haven't seen any problems with this since I've had it. And I've been using it a week pretty extensively. And, you know, it's kind of scary the first couple of days because to close it, you know, you kind of put a little pressure on it and it's, it has a very definite snap when it closes and it's a bit unnerving, right? You've heard so many cautionary tales and there's actually three little flyers in the box itself that say, be careful as you do this. And so I was really babying it, you know? Um, but I've been showing it to everybody. I've showed about 50 people now and I, I've kind of relaxed. I let them open it, close it, touch it, swipe it. And, uh, it's been holding up perfectly fine so far. Uh, I'll show you something on the back. So, let me see if you can see it in the light. Sorry. Um, so I have a case on one half of it. And then the other half is the regular part. It comes with this uh, real thin kind of a carbon fiber type of case. Um, it's really just kind of improved the grip because it's a glossy black uh, finish on both sides. So it's kind of nice that they included that part of it in there. So what is your what are your thoughts that on the 2000, uh, you know, that that price point at $2,000? Is it 
is it worth it? Do you, you know, do you think others should, could, will buy it? Well, I, I think the majority of people shouldn't probably buy it, but people like me who, who, you know, I've been using phones. I mean, you look at foldable phones back in the day, right? And <laughs> wow. Yeah. Slides <laughs> out. It, it's not the screen that's folding, but it's got keyboards and all kinds of folding things. I've been using those for, for decades. Right. So for people that are enthusiasts and stuff, I think it's not a bad buy. I, I was a little nervous about 2000 at first, but I mean, I am really loving this because, you know, in the open, in the open mode, I mean, that's a tablet and a phone. It truly is. And I, you know, I hold up my kid little Oasis next to it and read books. This is the same size. So I think that for the majority of people, probably not, but for those enthusiasts and those that just love using mobile devices, yeah, it's expensive, but it really feels like 2000. I mean, it's hard to see here, but this is a, a stainless steel hinge that is very substantial right here. Um, I mean, it just feels like quality. It's definitely a heavy phone. Um, and, you know, it remains to be seen what the use cases are. And that's what I'm really kind of exploring now. You know, is it, uh, is it something that we're going to see in the future? You know, but then we see what we saw uh, the other day with Microsoft. Yeah, that that's would be my you know next question or next thought is is obviously this is the the way things are going or at least a, a good portion of the market is towards the foldable because you know it does make sense right? Yeah, yeah, and and, and you know um, I don't know if how familiar you are with Huawei's phone, but they've got the Huawei Mate X that they showed off about the same time that Samsung showed off the fold, and theirs is unusual because um, the Mate X the screen is here on the outside and you fold it closed, you will have a screen on the front and the back. Now, that design looks fantastic. I'm a little leery of having two exposed screens uh, out and about with a pocket, because at least with a Samsung, you know, it's it's protected, the screen's inside kind of thing. But obviously there's two of the, the two major Android makers are coming out with a foldable screen. Now, I think this is probably something we'll see mainstream, you know, probably two, three years. It's not going to be, Next year, it's not going to be the thing. There's not going to be a ton of these foldable screens. But as we start to use these phones as our primary communion device, I mean, a lot of people don't even have to have a computer, right? I mean, with DeX on this, you plug it in, you get a full desktop experience on any monitor. So if you just bought the Galaxy Fold and you have a monitor and keyboard at home, I mean, that's all you really need to get most of the, your work and, and fun done. Yeah, hard to believe you could have it all in one, uh, you know, really small device there, Matt. All right, well, before we finish here, what are your final thoughts uh, on the, the foldable here? Uh, I love it. It's very exciting. If you're around me, come see it. Uh, I am a bit leery still about the durability. That's something we're going to definitely keep an eye on. You know, I mean, it's been a week now and it hasn't failed. So it's much better than the last time when they failed after two days. All right, yeah, we'll certainly keep our, our fingers crossed, Matt. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to take a first look at Matt's review and other articles concerning uh, the Galaxy Fold, make sure you check out ZDNet. Thanks for watching.